tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video. Okay, people, let the magic man get it going here again. We got Federal versus Leonardo Meyer. Uh, okay, people, this is a very in-depth video. It ain't just a video previewing uh, Federal versus, versus Meyer. Okay, um... Um, let me just say this here. Okay, let me just say this. I got Federer beating uh, Meyer. Uh, could Meyer get the upset? Uh, possibly, but no, I got Federer uh, beating uh, uh, Meyer. Uh, now, now that that's already gotten out of the way, people, people, this is really a preview of the rest of Federer's career. We know Federer's 37 years old. Just turn, just he just turned 37 the last week or so. And so people, when I watch Federer, Federer beat what's his name, the German Peter Gojo. I'm just uh, cutting his last name short just for uh, uh so I won't mess up his last name pronunciation wise. But Gojo, Federer played Gojo the first set. I mean, the first round. I mean, well, the second round, he had about the first round. People, I didn't like that. I didn't like what I saw with Federer. Okay, now somebody going to quickly say, well, Magic Man, Federer just uh, coming back after being off a month or so, and he's probably going to play better against Meyer. Uh, and that's true, but people, I'm assuming that Federer is going to play better the second round that he played, than he played the first round. But I'm still saying, I don't like what I'm seeing from Federer now. Okay, you may be saying, okay. Now, people, this is a sort of a tricky video, too, because what I'm getting ready to say, I don't know if Federer wants to do this. At the, at the age of 37, because I'm finna say that Federer needs to innovate again. Federer and Lubachik, his coach, and I'm putting, the reason I'm saying Lubachik, because Lubachik is definitely involved in what I'm getting ready to say. Okay, uh, but let me just say, uh, you might be saying, okay, Magic Man, what is it you don't like what you seeing from Federer? Whatever you saw in the first round, what is it you don't like? Okay, people, well, people, it ain't just... It ain't just what it's, it ain't just the second uh the second round where Federer played Peter Gojo. That ain't that ain't that ain't it ain't just about that second round match. It's what I've been seeing from Federer the last year or so. And if Federer wants to win majors the next couple years or next three years, he's gonna have to innovate. Okay, people. People, you know how um, companies do. Let's say Apple. Apple, okay, Apple's, Apple is a trillion-dollar company. Now, I think they're number one out of, uh, uh, over all the other companies, even the, the tech companies. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's companies that got more than a trillion. They just ain't telling people. But, but I'm saying we do know Apple got more money. They came up with the list. So Apple is on top of the world. They finally reached a trillion-dollar a mark. But people, even Apple, y'all know when Apple came out with the first iPhone, man, innovation, Apple just blowing everybody away. And then finally, people caught up like in the smartphone world. Then you have Samsung coming out with the Galaxy and Apple got a little complacent. So then, you know, Steve Jobs had died and people were saying Apple, they, they, you know, even though Apple was still a top company, of course, Apple never went down, but Apple, even a company as great as Apple, they got to innovate. See, you may come out with a product that's on top for two or three years, and then the, the competitors will come out with their smartphone, and then if you if you think you're on top of the world and don't need to, need to innovate, next thing you know, your iPhone is not selling as much as uh, Samsung's Galaxy. So Apple was in that situation a few years back. So Apple, even the, the executive of Apple said, we need to innovate. Since Steve, we need to go back to the Steve Jobs years. Like Steve Jobs uh when Steve Jobs was living, man, he was an innovator. You got to, you got to stay ahead of the competition. You got to stay ahead of Microsoft. So, uh, you may be saying, well, Magic Man. And so now, let me get, to, let me finish Apple off. So Apple got the iPhone 10 now. And okay, they back on top again. But see, 
they can't just be satisfied with the iPhone 10. They got to come up with the iPhone 11 and 12 in the next few years. Okay, so now you may say, imagine, man, what is Apple innovating got to do with Federer and Lubachek? Okay, people, listen here. People, y'all know Federer, um, when Lubachek hooked up with Federer, Federer, um, um, Lubachek, Lubachek deserves a A plus that he brought, he gave, he helped Federer create the greatest resurgence of any older player in the history of tennis. We know what Federer has done the last uh, two years. At the age of 37, man, I mean, Federer has won uh three majors. He won the Australian Open under Lubachek. He beat his nemesis, Nadal. He won the Wimbledon under Lubachek. And then he won the Australian Open 2018 under Lubachek. Not only that, people, he beat Nadal. His under Lubachek's guidance, uh, coaching, Federer, and his resurgence was able to beat his biggest nemesis, Nadal. Um, Four consecutive times. Okay, so Lubachik deserves an A+. Plus. I give, see, Stefan Edberg, I give Stefan Edberg a B, maybe a B plus at the most, but I can't give, because see, Stefan Edberg, he did make Federer aware that he needs to come to the net and, and, and be aggressive. And Stefan, Stefan Edberg, he, he couldn't believe that a guy with Federer's skill, volley skill, was not taking the net. See, Stefan Edberg didn't teach Federer volley skill. Federer already had volley skill from day one, but Federer wasn't using the volley, using uh, taking the net, being aggressive the way he should. So Stefan Edberg did help Federer do that, and to this day, Federer is even more aggressive, aggressive thanks to Stefan Edberg. But Stefan Edberg did not help Federer win majors like Lubachek. He didn't help Federer increase that mental level, get more mental, mentally tough and more mentally based the way Lubachek uh, has done over the last uh, few years. Okay, a couple years. All right, so I give Lubachek an A+. Plus. So you may say, well, okay, Magic Man, what's your point then? Uh, you saying, okay, you saying they need to innovate, but you just saying you gave Lubachek an A+, plus for coaching Federer. Well, people, just like I use with Apple... Just because you come out with the greatest smartphone of all time, the iPhone, that don't mean you don't need to innovate to keep up with the competitors because the competitors are going to be trying to catch up. So right now, people, listen. When I watched Federer in the first, uh, second round against uh, Peter Gojo, the German, um... People, Federer's like, now I know he wasn't playing at his high level. I know y'all going to say, well, Federer, he going to play better the second round. I do think he's going to play better. That's why I picked him to beat Mayer, uh, uh, Meyer. But even though he, even if he plays better against Meyer, I still think Federer needs to innovate now. He innovated Lubachik and Federer. He, uh, Lubachik started coaching Federer at the end of December 2015. Uh, Federer was injured, uh, had surgery 2016. Uh, but once they got it going, so Lubachik has basically, basically been with Federer since uh, the 1st of two, January, December 2015, or January uh, 2016, however you want to put it. Uh, but even if, and he gave Federer the greatest, like I said, the greatest resurgence of any older player in the history of tennis. But just because Lubachik did that don't mean that he and that Federer and he doesn't uh don't need to innovate again. They need to come up with something else. Uh you may say it could be some subtle stuff to help Federer's game, like they innovated Federer's backhand, and look what it did. But that backhand, I don't know where that backhand went. That backhand that was hitting winners. Uh, 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 from west to east two years ago, uh, last year against the Dow in the Australian Open and against the Dow in Indian Wells and at the Miami 2017. I don't know where that ba they, where that backhand is gone. Uh, what I don't like about Federer now, people, the reason I'm saying he needs to innovate People that like against Kevin Anderson, Federer is caught in this. Sort of, he's sort of like he's been on the defensive too much. Also, he's sort of like he's caught in this sort of like getting us blocking the ball back sometime way more. We know Federer like to be aggressive. So now I know somebody can say, well, this is level stuff. He needs to raise the level. Well, 
That's true. If you could just automatic, automatically raise the level, then okay, that's innovation in itself. But maybe he needs to uh, bring something new to the game so that he can start believing at a high level and that'll raise the level up. You know what, people? If I was coaching Federer, you may say, well, imagine, man, what would, if you was coaching him, what would you add to Federer's game? People, you know what I would bring? You know what I would innovate with Federer? This is what I would bring to the Federer camp from an innovation standpoint. People, I saw Curios. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It was Curios against Warinka. Y'all can just type in the fastest for Curios hits this super fast forehand. People, that was like a new era. I would bring, I call that speed tennis. Not so much power. It's super speed. It's super speed on the strokes. Now, somebody might say, well, Magic Man, Kyrgios ain't winning nothing. So what? Kyrgios can hit these super forehands when he wants when he uh, wants to. Well, people, well, Federer is different. Federer is a champion. I would probably, uh, even though Federer and I have to lay out for a couple months to get this right in training, I would bring a super speed. Like that super forehand you see like Kyrgios hitting sometime and Monfils. I would bring that to Federer's game. Where he can hit it all the time. Forehand and backhand. I will increase the speed. I call that the super speed tennis. I'm serious. Y'all just type in. Go to YouTube. Type in the, the, uh, the fastest forehand Kyrgios ever hit. I would take that Kyrgios speed. And I would translate it into Federer's game. And it will work better with Federer. Because Federer is a champion. Kyrgios is not a champion. So that's an example of innovation. And it can be sort of innovations. Um, Federer better get back to serving aces. He ain't serving as many aces as he used to. And Federer is allowing people to touch his serve. And uh, that's, that's man, listen, that's harder, man. As I'm saying Federer, if he want to win majors, he better innovate. And like I said before, this bit Federer been getting by. Sometimes he get by with this game, this uh game that's gone down. Man, listen, there was a Federer fan that said something, and I agree, but I said it hasn't been since Mammy. But the Federer fan said it was the Federer fan said Federer hasn't played top level tennis since Wimbledon 2017. Uh, the only reason why I said it's not in the Wimbledon 2000, it probably is, because Federer against Chilich, y'all know when Chilich had the blister and Federer beat Chilich, uh, Federer, that was an ugly match, but I understand it was tricky for Federer because Chilich had a blister, he act like he couldn't play, then he, sometimes he act like he could play, you know how when somebody's hurt, you don't know whether to play hard, whether to play easy, and Federer, that was sort of confusing, but he got through it, so I, I Let's say this. I agree with the Federer fan. Federer hasn't played top level tennis since 2017 Wimbledon. Okay. You might say, well, imagine, man, he beat Chilich in the Australian Open 2018. Now, he barely beat Chilich. His level was going up one set, down the next set. And he, he was lucky, like Federer said, that his level came back in the fifth set. So, let me get back to the point and close this video out. Federer needs to do like Apple. He needs to invent, innovate the new Federer iPhone game. It's the, the iPhone 10 ain't enough now. You need to go to the iPhone 11 and then the iPhone 12 if he wants to win majors. Okay, people? And that's Lubachik and Federer. I don't think Federer needs to get a new coach. I think Lubachik, they see, you can get complacent. Federer has been so successful. Now, down to the last two years that you can get complacent and don't realize I need to innovate again. Now, here, I'm going to say this in closing. Federer may not want to innovate. Maybe Federer's like, I'm motivated to play Magic Man. I, mo I, I adjusted my schedule so I can possibly win majors. But I don't want to do what you just said. I don't want to go through some practice and innovate. Maybe Federer, he don't have the motivation to to innovate in practice. Because sometimes you have to innovate in practice. You can't innovate without practice. But a lot of times you may have to go to the back to the drawing board. And at this age, he may not want to do that. And I understand that. Okay? But I'm just telling you what Federer needs to do. Whether he do it in practice, whether he do it during a match, whether he can just do it instantly, he needs to do like Apple and innovate a new Federer iPhone. Because the iPhone that Lubachek and Federer came up with a couple years ago, that worked. 
for a year or so, but it ain't working now, okay? And Federer is just sort of going through the motions again, hoping that he can win. But what's going to happen is the same thing that happened with Kevin Anderson. You better innovate, okay? All right, tennis preacher, prophet, psychic, signing off. Have a good one.